what's good next door family we're back and we got a special surprise for you guys we finally got the last one to our 151 binder so we're gonna open up some pack for you guys and after we're done opening those i'm gonna show you the 151 in its entirety and then we're gonna open up some pow day and fates all right guys so we're gonna be showing you guys one charizard set and then opening up the next charizard set that we're going to be opening to try to get a full master set so with that being said let's get into it we're here with the final card of our 151 binder plop that in there like so so it's even just so you guys could get a little taste of what today's video is going to look like don't mind the mess over here and it ends here and now that we see these we are doing a giveaway so guys don't forget to like comment follow subscribe all the bells and whistles that you need to we are announcing the winners on february 25th for this giveaway and winners of these giveaway will get a bunch of other cool stuff aside from just the three promos that you get from our regular 151 so Let's put this stuff aside for now. Let's get into some pack openings, right? And yeah, we finally completed our 151 binder. So with that being said, we're on to new things, new and better things. That being the Pau Dan Fates, which you guys will get a sneak peek of what we're opening today. And then we're going to start with some 151 binder. This kind of feels a little too airy for me. I haven't felt a pack this airy. That's kind of scary, but whatever. I'm sure it's a reprint. I'm sure all these are reprints, especially with how much they've been printing out a lot of these 151 collections. Even though it is getting a little more scarce to find nowadays. Ironically, it's weird because back in the day... No matter where you went, you would find something. At least, like, um, if it wasn't, like, a collection or a poster box, you would find something, right? Now, I see more of the mini tins around than I do see any other Pokemon product from here. And that's okay. Um, it's starting to show you how much of a demand there is for Pokemon, let alone this set. So, it's good to be able to open these with you guys and just share the moments of us pulling some fire in front of you guys, right? Because that's that's what we aim to do over here at the Next Door family. Ooh, and we pull a Charizard EX from this box. Gotta love every single Charizard you pull from here. And again, no. There we go. We have the sleeves still. Had to find them a little bit. Sorry about that. Boom. And oh, what it... I might have to do an opening where if I open some of these more, some more of the 151 uh, cards, I'm just going to start giving them to you guys. I mean, at this point, most of this stuff is, yeah, there's just doubles, <laughs> quadruples at this point. So I, I'm going to have to do something aside from just giving you guys the promos. I'm probably going to throw in some other good stuff inside there for our giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to enter. There is not too many of you guys on my channel that watch this. So, I mean, I would take advantage of that now, especially now that we do have a giveaway so early on in the channel that not many people get to participate except for our day ones, right? And I kind of wanted to do that as we pull... A uh, Blastoise EX back to back. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. People are gonna say it's fake. Back to back. That's crazy. Let's 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 set this up for our promos. If we get a Venusaur, that would be even crazier. That'd be close to a god pack. We still haven't pulled any of those yet. So if we can get one of those in this pack opening, that'll be good, but Man, if we get that Venusaur, that would be dope to finish out strong with all three starters and the evolutions for our giveaway. Um, actually, if we pull that Venusaur, I think I'll do a giveaway for all three. Or, yeah, all six of these, right? Meaning, those winners will get not only the first evolution of it, of the promo, you'll get the last evolution. Whether that's Blastoise, 
Venusaur, or Charizard EX. So it's not a god pack. That's okay as we pull a Starmie. That's okay. It can't always be good hot fire. But we try anyways, right? We try anyways for the fun of it. And then, yeah, we got into our actual pulls, our, our finishing of the binder. We got to show you guys a sneak peek of the binder and its entirety. So let's, I, I think it's time for some Pal Day and Fates. Now with Pal Day and Fates, I know it's a, currently one of the newer sets that to have been released or whatever the case may be. And yeah, um, there's not too many chase cards aside from like a Charizard and the Mew and the Gardevoir, which are holding some value being fairly new in the release. But a lot of the people are going for the shiny Pokemon, all the shinies, the shiny Charizard, the shiny Mew, so on and so forth as I get into this. Oh already dropping packs we're gonna save this pack for last we're gonna keep it all the way in the back it's a sarah ledge pack i am a firm believer of things happen for a reason yeah let's just take this stuff out we don't really need this to show you guys the entirety of this box so if this everything's fairly standard you got your dice you got your damage counters your poison your fire your burn we got our energies, the beautiful, lovely promo of Mimikyu. Gotta love that. We got code card for the gang. And our sleeves. Beautiful sleeves. May not use them for competitive, but that's okay. We don't need all the sleeves that we got. We just need the pack. Oh, and our dividers. How could I forget the dividers? There we go, front and back. And then we go ahead and get these packs open. So let's start. Let's start with this over here. We got our Dundozo pack. I actually did just pull the uh, illustration rare Dundozo from Crown Zenith. And now if you haven't seen that, that one's super dope. I think you guys should go ahead and look that up as soon as you're done watching this video. Because this video is super duper cool, right? And yeah, a beautiful card. It has the Tatsugiri going between the waves. As we get into our first pack of Paldean Fates for the channel. Super dope. This is not a milestone, but a very first for the channel. And, and it's, oh, as we pull our Raichu. Beautiful, beautiful shiny cards. That, that does what everyone's aiming for here. Everyone's going for these shiny cards right here. Me as a shiny collector. You, you just gotta love it. I am a shiny hunter through and through, whether that's for our actual video game or just just Pokemon in general. I mean, the set that got me back into this, um, into Pokemon again was actually Hidden Fates, surprisingly. And I went all out to try to get that Charizard. And ironically, as funny as this sounds, um, I ended up getting the Rayquaza box, which is this set right here. The only one I was able to purchase, it was the only one at my local Walmart right around Christmas time back in the day. And when that happened, I ended up pulling a shiny Charizard. Oh, as we talk about Charizard, today's the day for Charizard. We just pulled two Charizards back to back, not back to back immediately, but that's one five one Charizard. We got this Charizard and ironically, I haven't pulled this Charizard, but back to the story. Um yeah uh last pack i was kind of just giving up on opening um what was it hidden fates just because of all the stuff that uh all the money i had spent on it all the tins i would literally go out through and through every day going to my local disney i used to work for disney at the time so i would go to japan and epcot and go buy some tins go buy some etbs and it it was just taxing on the on the wallet um until i was finally able to catch that one charge that i've been looking for and then since then i've kind of been in pokemon i didn't start recording till recently but i it, i've been steady into pokemon since then and it's just kind of been me and shiny hunting through and through because I, I just like exclusive things and to me 
how more exclusive can you get than getting something with odds of very little to get you know what i mean so this set has been this is our last pack by the way so all these fade sets i didn't really get to open too much of the shining fades because i was kind of all charizard out and tapped out from hidden fades but if you guys haven't seen that um youtube video recently i did actually just pull the shining charizard from uh shining fates recently and that was woo, as we get a shiny reller finish with the dust bomb let's leave this bad boy up but yeah i ended up pulling that ironically and that was cool um uh, yeah, I, I was shocked. I wasn't expecting to pull that. Especially, I think I got it in like, um, it was the, what was it called? The Cramorant? It was like one of the Cramorant uh, promo boxes that they had for Shining Fates going on. And um, it was dope. It was dope to sit there and potentially see something in the back and then not know what it is because again i haven't opened too much of shining fates and i i'm basically a collector i would like to say but i have been dabbling into the uh trading card game side in terms of playing it against people in local tournaments because for so for me today's tuesday so i do have a local tournament today at 6 30 oh we got another paldean student with our code card let's go ahead and Sleeve this Paldean student up. Put this in the trade binder for later. Right over here. And before we get into the couple packs, I did open some before. And I got a Squawkabilly, Pidgeot, Kilowattro, Capsicid, Paldean, Tauros. Beautiful, beautiful. We got another Paldean student, the Alternative Art. Which is weird. Are they not all the same? What the heck? And then we had the Norvern, Claude Sire, and Espathra. But this was not recorded. This was just for me and my enjoyment because I was so excited to open up some Paldean Fates. I just opened some in my car. But it's dope to see that they got some different illustrations of that Paldean student. I don't know where that came from, but that's dope. There we go, we got a Ralt, a Magmar, a Fido, Hunter, Primate, Ultra Ball, Mouse Hold, Char Cadet, Hunter, and a Professor's Research. Now, I don't know if I would say I have any, like, chase cards aside from the Charizard being a Charizard Hunter, and a shiny Charizard Hunter at that, but I would, <clears throat> I would say I love the Mew, Mew's dope. Um, Gardevoir's Illustration Rare dope. The Entei. I really wanted Suicune back in the day. And I wasn't able to acquire that. So, Entei would be a close second. Um, oof, what other cards did they have inside this set that I was thinking about? Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, those are the real big hitters. I can't remember any of the Ultra Rares or anything of that nature. It's just kind of escaping me. We got a Gardevoir EX, so we do get a hit in that box. But, man, I mean, this set with all the shinies and stuff like that. And and realistically speaking, actually, the set's actually pretty small. I think there's 91 cards in the set that you need to acquire for not the master set, but the regular set. And then I think overall there's like 200 and something. I can't remember off the top of my dome, but I do know there are a lot of cards in this set, but the main set is 91, so it's going to be super hard to acquire all of these Pokemon cards, especially if you're looking for a master set of this, just because those, I guess, big pools, so those shiny Pokemon are going to be in that reverse rare slot, right? So you're not going to get too many of them now, granted, you do get two of them. Still, it's just going to be a little harder to get, especially... So, we got Toxel, and we got a Monkey and a Magmortar with our code card. So, as you see, you typically only get about, like, one per box, or one per pack. 
And I mean, in terms of pool rates, they're really good. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of other people open um, some of these packs. And I mean, it's been really good pool rates, don't get me wrong. But I mean, just how much can you open before you give up? You know what I mean? I think um, it wasn't Pokey Oz, but one of the uh, big Pokemon creators had opened about, I think it was 2,000 packs. Now you're going to try last pack. And he completed a set. He said it took him about a thousand five hundred mark, which is where he got um basically the full set set. I think we got something here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Lapras, Toad School, Lechunk, Char Cadet, Nimonas, Kilowattro, Nespal, and we got a shiny Espathra. You gotta love it, EX. So I mean we hit some bangers with this box. My last box wasn't as good as this one. Um, what you guys just seen here wasn't just one box or what I showed you previously with the ones I did pull off camera. That wasn't just one box. That was actually two boxes pulls. So, I mean, this right here out of one box has been pretty phenomenal. You gotta love it. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. We have what? One, two, three, four four shiny Pokemon. You have the Charizard EX, you have the Paldean Student and a Gardevoir EX. I mean, you can't really lose with this set, especially with the fact that the set's so small and then you have a lot of good, strong, chaseable cards, whether you're a shiny hunter of an Entei, whether you're a shiny hunter of a Mew, a Gardevoir, a Charizard. There's just so much you could go after in the set. And I do think it's worth the money if you are looking for a new set to go after. And if you are, I do say good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, and yeah, I do want to thank all you guys for joining and giving me the opportunity to show, you, uh, show this to you guys. And yeah, just stay blessed, stay safe, and keep on pulling, guys. Peace.